The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. Yuri Lowenthal is back. That's nice. I prefer the Two Thrones guy, honestly. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. Hands, though. Let her go. Yeah, Yuri's voice just doesn't fit anymore. The Two Thrones guy was better. Anyway, welcome back, guys, to a brand new playthrough. This is Prince of Persia, Two Thrones. Now, I have some thoughts on this already. So, for those of you guys that watched my Warrior Within playthrough, just a little bit of context and exposition here. I had no idea, after all these years, that there was more than one possible ending to Warrior Within. I did not know that. After I beat it again, uh, back this time, I still didn't know. But while I was setting up this game, uh, trying to tweak some things and adjust some settings to make sure that it ran properly and everything, I caught that intro and I was like, what the hell? I, I had no idea. I had no idea that if you got all the life upgrades in Warrior Within, that would give you the true ending, which would result in him earning the Water Sword, which he would use to fight back the Dahaka and save Kylina. I had no idea. So when I first saw this intro a couple days ago when I was setting all this stuff up, I was like, what in the f I just had no clue. I had no idea. It still blew me away. And I think that's also probably why the intro was the way that it was, is it seems like they were trying to say like, hey, like, 
a lot of players back in the day probably had no idea because we didn't, you know, use the internet as much and we didn't need a, a walkthrough or a guide, so to speak. So a lot of people that were playing the game had no freaking clue that, uh, you know, that there was an alternate um, ending to the game, a true ending. The non-canon one, for example, what I was playing. Okay, so let's see. We gotta adjust the camera. Oh, it's using the triggers to to adjust the camera. I don't know if I love that. Let's see if we can change that real quick. Um, let's now see. You have the time to hear more. We're gonna go ahead and adjust the settings too. This game is is not very well optimized. Graphics controls, gamepad. Okay. Uh, move forward, back, right, walk, toggle. Okay, I need to let's see. We okay, walk, toggle, roll, jump, eject. That's fine. Walling and block. That's not good. Yeah, we're gonna change it to right bumper for sure. Sword attack should be that. Okay, grab second weapon. That should be that. Pick up throw. That's fine. Rewind. Slow down. Uh, I think we're gonna go left trigger on that one for sure. Camera look. Yeah, we need that. Alternate view. I'm not sure. Right stick. Oh, start. That's insane. Please let me know when you're ready to hear more. Hopefully that didn't make me have to redo all that again. Start to start. Okay. Camera forward. Camera backward. Camera left. Camera right. Okay, so it's still... Menu up, D-pad up, down, left, right. I think we're good. It looks like that's everything, right? Camera look. Um, that one should be right trigger, actually. Walk and toggle. I think we're okay. Okay, so I think we're good. Yes, I think that did it. Okay, let's double check. There we go. Now we're starting to feel like warrior within. Hell yeah. All right, friends, let's get this going. Bam! Prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Actually, let's also see one... Hear more? Oh, stop it. One final thing. Let's see if we have... Uh... Would, uh... Music volume's fine. Sorry. I was trying to see if we could put on captions, but I don't see... That is an option. Solution tutorials, blood. Yes, all that, please. Graphics, graphics. Yeah, I guess. Basic would be resolution game. Right? Yeah, they don't have that. Okay. Avalon's okay. proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Oh, what? I, that's not true. I did not release too soon. I was holding on to that thing the, the whole time. Yeah, this game was really poorly optimized for PC, but I never played this one before, so I don't know what the story is going to be like. I know that there's obviously two princes, hence the two thrones situation. But, uh, man, I'm excited about this. I've said this before, one of the reasons why I started YouTube was because I wanted to go back and play some classic games that I loved so much growing up, and one of those was Warrior Within. I actually beat that before I beat Sands of Time, because I just wasn't really interested in, like, the sort of tone that Sands of Time was giving off. Two, two Thrones... Um, was a game that I ever played after I beat Warrior within a couple of times, but I always wanted to. I think it was for I think it was because at the time I had a PS2 and I didn't have an I didn't have an X I don't remember what it was, but I feel like I didn't know that Two Thrones was available on the gaming platform that I had, so I didn't buy it. Never continued the story. But uh, anyway, so I started YouTube and I did the uh, I finally got through Warrior Within, as you guys know, and then I was really looking forward to playing the sequel. And then there's the Forgotten Sands as well, which is like. It came out in 2010, so way after this game, but it's a prequel. I think it takes place between 1 and 2, or 2 and 3, I don't remember. Everywhere but. there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? Also, it's so weird hearing Yuri Lowenthal back voicing the prince. You recall that he was the prince in the first game? Um, oops, wrong way. Oh, that was nice. Lucky recovery. Um, but the guy who did uh, the prince's voice in Warrior Within was freaking awesome. I loved that guy. Can I make that? I should be able to make that. He sounded more like what I expected the prince to be. Yuri's too soft. And I mean no disrespect. He's a great Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and everything else that he does. Ah, crap. Oh, what? How far back are you going to send me? Everywhere there are signs of battle. But what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? The, uh, 
yeah, the story in this is going to be really interesting. Somehow, after all these years, after like, what, nearly 20 years or so of this game um, existing, I was able to avoid any sort of spoilers. I have a tendency to read like plots on Wikipedia and stuff if I'm not going to play a game or if I just really want to know something about a game. But this game I never did because I always told myself that I was going to play it. Okay, real quick. The jumping. So what's the trick? I don't know. How do I do a diagonal jump like that? You know what I mean? I'm not sure I see how to make that. Unless I need to climb on that and jump on that ledge? I don't know. Oh, I can drive on that. Okay, I didn't see that it was... Alright, I gotta get used to that. I didn't realize I could jump onto that and grab that um, little indent in the wall there. The graphics also don't seem like they're much better than uh, Two Throne or uh, or everything. I feel like that one was better. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Yes, because I will die for sure. Yeah, I can see the blood and stuff. I guess the European version of this game, they act the blood, removed that. When the icon appears on screen, press LB for landscape camera. Oh, okay. Enemy, enemy enemy. Okay, I see three enemies there, but still no weapon. At least it feels better now. My initial playthrough sucked, but I changed some things. Now the game feels much, much better. There's a sword there. Grab that off the table. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? That is a good question. That looks pretty cool. While the screen is distorted, press Y to start the speed kill. Oh, that's new. Okay, does he have a weapon that I can pick up? No. It's just the dagger. Okay. From behind without being seen. I also added a mod that's supposed to speed that up a little bit. Oh, okay, there we go. I didn't realize I could pick that up. But again, I've never played this game, so I don't know how slow the speed kills are, but... Okay, there we go. I'm excited to play this. There's a couple of you guys that were commenting on Warrior Within that were saying you were looking forward to this as well. Wait, what did he say? Move up the analog stick towards a uh, gap and press A to jump. Okay, it's talking to me like I've never played this before, but I guess I don't really mind. Enemies can pull back and forth in an area. Oh, he somehow got me. He pressed the wrong button. Eh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Why to attack with the weapon? Are we able to pick up sand yet? It doesn't look like it. Not sure what's going on with this guy. Oh, I got the stab, but it. Okay. So these aren't just normal guys. These aren't demons or anything. There's nothing about these dudes that makes them... I don't know. They're just not as threatening? That's where I came from, actually. Huh? I need to go back this way. Yeah, depending on the direction, like if I move in a diagonal way, he starts walking. But if I do a hard right, hard left, he runs. But diagonal... starts to walk. It's so odd. Run along the wall while holding RB. Okay. Actually, wait, I can drink this water, can't I? I forgot about that. Oh, I barely took any damage. A lot of tutorials here. Oops. Whoops. And 
Warrior Within and Two Thrones need remakes just as much as Santa Time, Sands of Time, in my humble opinion. Air buff. Kylina. No. No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. Yeah, it's weird how he stops like that. Did that idiot just run into the fire? I think he killed himself. That guy ran into a fire and straight up killed himself. That is awesome. Okay. So he said he has to run up this. Okay, I'm assuming this is direction. I can sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. I mean, let's be real though, they're all dead. I do appreciate the game is giving me these tutorials. Like, I know what I'm doing, sort of. But, uh, it's nice how, how much. Four weeks I've been at sea. They're helping out. Every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? And why? What in the hell is this Birdman looking dude? Oh, he's got some acrobatics. Stop him from using his arrows though. Does he have a sword? Like, I don't know if that guy can hit me. Can I pick that up? Dude, that's some crazy bloody violence there. Oh, I didn't time it right. I didn't realize the game would have to, to prompt you each time. I didn't try to pick up the bow, but after I kill him, I want to see if I can. Nice. Split right down the middle. Um... No, it doesn't look like I can pick that up. Yeah, I picked that one up easy, so that means this is probably why. I'm so glad this game runs smoothly. I was really worried that I was going to have to skip this playthrough because it just runs like garbage, but I got it to work. All right, I think that's probably a good point for us to stop. A bit of a teaser. I was hoping that we'd hit like some sort of climactic point, but we didn't. That's okay. Um, we will continue with more of Prince of Persia Two Thrones tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark and I channel. Before you go, though, show some love. Hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to take a look at the description box. I've got some links there that might interest you, one of which is the link to the Discord server for the Mark and I community. If you want to be a part of that, you can mention me directly. We can chat, be buddies if you want. No promises, though. I also have a link there for geekoutpost.com. It's a media website that I own, operate, manage, and write for. Design that website myself. If you want to take a look at the latest in entertainment and gaming news, uh, reviews, rumors, and all that good stuff, um, yeah, that would mean a lot to me if you did. I don't know. I spent a lot of time on it and I write for it. So check it out um, if you'd like. Otherwise, thank you for your time. And uh, I hope to see you when we continue with more Two Thrones uh, tomorrow. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care. Be well. I'll see you later.